15 prohibitions and strange things only existing in Jamaica. The first thing that comes to mind when talking about Jamaica is undoubtedly the image of deep blue beaches, vibrant reggae rhythms, and diverse and liberal culture. However, these wonderful things also come with a series of laws and peculiarities that you may not find anywhere else in the world. In this video, we will explore 15 prohibitions and oddities only existing in Jamaica, where something unexpected awaits at every corner. So let's start this fascinating journey together. Number 15. One of the world's most dangerous. If you still think this is a friendly and safe tourist destination, then you may be the prey of criminals here. Jamaica always ranks among the top most dangerous countries in the world, and every time you go out, you face criminals. The origin of crime in Jamaica stems from the difficult economic and social situation of the majority of the population. High unemployment rates from 10 to 15% without prospects have driven people to crime. The situation is particularly difficult in the capital, Kingston. The increase in crime is due to the influence of migration from villages and the formation of slums for migrants around the city. Among them, local criminal groups are actively recruiting new bullet shields. The career of criminals here begins in adolescence, with ages ranging from 10 to 15 years old. In addition, gangs have had a significant impact on the domestic situation since independence in 1962. Criminals are closely linked to politicians and receive orders from some of them to kill or threaten competitors. Among the main activities of Jamaican criminal groups are drug trafficking, robbery, extortion and fraud. In Kingston alone, there are up to 36 gangs. In Jamaica, they are called Yadi. The largest gangs among them are Shower Posse, Vineyard, Mona and others. The groups are often named after the areas they control. According to data from the Jamaican Police Department, in just the first five months of the year, about 650 people were killed, an average of four people per day in a country with a population of only about 3 million. To compare, this figure in the United States is about 10 people, and in Canada it is 1.6 people. Such a large difference shows the very high level of danger in this country. Number 14. Drugland. If you follow the news, the US Drug Enforcement Administration has recorded a five-fold increase in drug trafficking through the Caribbean in recent years. About 100 tons of drugs are smuggled into the US through the Caribbean each year. A significant portion of this goes through Jamaica, which has long been a transit hub for drug traffickers. Law enforcement agencies continuously arrest these deadly drug traffickers, but to this day, they have not been able to curb drug criminals. For example, in August 2015, Jamaican police found 450 kilograms of banned substances in containers prepared for shipment by sea, and in December 2014, law enforcement officers discovered a record 1,868 kilograms of marijuana on a ship in the southern part and part of the island. However, the crazy thing is that the government has gradually liberalized drug laws. Since February 2015, Jamaican citizens have been allowed to possess about 60 grams of marijuana. Moreover, they are officially allowed to grow up to five marijuana plants. They believe that marijuana is closely linked to the history and Rastafarian culture of Jamaica, a fact that mainstream media have strongly amplified. Number 13. Don't travel alone. Inexperienced travelers to Jamaica planning to travel alone should thoroughly research crime rates in some areas of the country. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is truly one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Therefore, we advise against sharing a taxi with strangers even if the purpose is to save money on fares. Jamaica has beautiful rural areas to explore outside of all-inclusive resorts, but if you plan to venture off the beaten path, it's best to travel in groups. Traveling in groups helps enhance the safety of tourists, especially when in unfamiliar and less known places. Pickpockets and scammers often target solo travelers as they may become easier to harass or deceive. By traveling with a group, you can help each other in case of any issues. Additionally, you should also avoid going out at night, even if you're with a group. Even in bustling and densely populated Kingston, Jamaica's capital, people should remain vigilant, especially at dusk and late at night. Avoid walking along deserted beaches and poorly lit streets. The same applies to taking buses and other public transportation. If you must go out after dark, head to well-lit and crowded areas. Number 12. The happiest men in the world. If you want to become one of the happiest men in the world, come to Jamaica. In the eyes of Jamaican women, an ideal man doesn't necessarily have to be someone who earns a lot of money. 
In fact, having no job and not making money is perfectly fine. According to them, women are responsible for earning money. Their biggest desire is to find a man who knows how to do household chores, is willing to help, and shares the workload with them in family tasks. Not long ago, a survey revealed that in Jamaica, women work more than men. The educational level of women here is also higher than that of men. This has led to women being extremely dynamic and agile. They start companies, become managers, and have success rates and economic independence up to 20% higher than men. When tourists come to Jamaica, they often encounter men leisurely enjoying life without the need to work. Especially Jamaican men are not ashamed or embarrassed about it. They are perfectly content with living dependently. Occasionally receiving money from girlfriends or wives for spending, they feel extremely happy and satisfied with life. To become the perfect object of affection for local women, there are two principles that must be followed. The first principle is when dining out, women must always pay. When women pay, they may excuse themselves to use the restroom, but after returning, they are not allowed to ask about the bill or the cost of the meal. The second principle is to know how to do household chores and the better you do them, the more points you earn. Number 11. Honeymoon Paradise If you're wondering where to spend your honeymoon, then Jamaica the Paradise in the Caribbean with its diverse natural scenery and culture is definitely an excellent choice. World-renowned as the birthplace of reggae music, ska, dub, and many other modern music genres, Jamaica boasts a vibrant recording industry. However, this third-largest island in the Caribbean also has many other attractions that make it the perfect destination for honeymooners. Here, tourists can admire golden sandy beaches, beautiful beaches with crystal clear water, enjoy the cool tropical climate, and many charming landscapes. In Kingston, the capital of Jamaica, tourists can visit the home of music legend Bob Marley Negril has Rick's Cafe, where tourists can observe mesmerizing sunset scenes. Meanwhile, northern Jamaica boasts the beauty of waterfalls on the Dunas River in Ocho Rios, while to the east is the spectacular Blue Mountains Range. Perhaps the most famous in Jamaica is Montego Bay. This place has underwater rock formations surrounding the bay and the sea is always cool. Meanwhile, the tropical beach to the west, Seven Mile Beach, stretches with lush palm trees. In addition, you will be comfortable participating in water sports and immersing yourself in fun beaches or simply waiting all day for the magical sunset moment and enjoying a variety of delicious local dishes. As long as you follow the rules and keep yourself safe, this will be the best vacation you'll ever have. Number 10. Avoid taking taxis. I told you that Jamaica is truly vast, so one or two long walks are out of the question. Meanwhile, taking a taxi to explore most of Jamaica's hotspots can drain your wallet. Taxis from the airport are usually convenient and reliable, but you should inquire whether your all-inclusive resort or any Jamaican hotels include airport shuttle services as part of their offerings. You can rely on the bus system in cities across Jamaica for transportation. However, remember that bus schedules are not always punctual, so you should have a backup plan. It's best to rent a car if you plan to explore more of the island, although this only applies if you are comfortable with poor road conditions and traffic. Also note that you will be driving on the left side of the road in Jamaica. Number 9. No showing off. With the rampant crime, you know why the police here require all tourists not to show off. It's truly a foolish act to set foot in such a dangerous place. Try to carry as few valuables as possible. Curious eyes from pickpockets to bag snatchers on bicycles are all drawn in a frenzy by flashy items, wallets, and dazzling jewelry. Do not bring valuable items to the beach or leave them on the sand, even when swimming. At the very least, keep your passport and other important travel documents safely in your hotel room. While relaxing on Jamaica's famous beaches like Negril's Seven Mile Beach, you may encounter street vendors offering hair braiding services. You agreed on the price beforehand. However, after the treatment, you will be charged double due to some additional features being applied that you cannot backtrack on. Another similar action is an extremely friendly person quickly putting a colorful friendship bracelet around your wrist. After a while of chatting, you will be asked to pay a high price for an unwanted souvenir. It's best to politely and firmly refuse early on. Number 8. Dress appropriately. When traveling, everyone wants to wear their best outfits for photos, but in Jamaica, this action is akin to showing off. It's best to wear simple and modest clothing this way. You can blend into the local community without attracting unwanted attention. 
Fashion in Jamaica is often a combination of comfort and quality. You can opt for lightweight, comfortable clothes suitable for the country's hot and humid weather. A t-shirt, Bermuda shorts, or a short dress are good choices for a day out. For religious places like churches or temples, you should dress more formally to show respect. For religious places like churches or temples, you should dress more formally to show respect. If you're heading to a fancy restaurant or club, they might expect you to dress formally. A nice pair of pants with a dress shirt or blouse would be suitable for these places. Number 7. Avoid mimicking the local accent. Imitating foreign accents might be amusing among a group of friends, but it's not funny when you do it in the country mentioned above. It can even be quite offensive. If you try to speak Jamaican Patois or Jamaican Creole in front of a local you've just met, it's best to do it correctly. The results of not doing so could range from laughter to obvious displeasure. Every culture has its own rules and limitations regarding language use. In the case of Jamaica, Patois is often used by locals, and their language is quite difficult to learn and pronounce, so it's best not to mimic it. It's important to understand and respect the culture and language of the country you're visiting. Instead of mimicking, you can show respect by learning to communicate politely and courteously in English. Understanding and respecting the local culture will help you make a positive impression and avoid unpleasant situations. Number 6. Finish your food. When dining in Jamaica, remember to let restaurant staff guide you to your table as a sign of respect. Finishing your food on the plate is also considered polite to show gratitude for the meal. Especially if you're not dining at a restaurant but at a local's home, finishing your food is considered obligatory. Don't worry too much about this, the food here is quite easy to eat. Sometimes it's worth exploring local services outside of the resort restaurants, even if it means stopping at a humble roadside shack with a makeshift grill made from old metal drums. Such modest stalls or roadside pits often serve delicious Jamaican food at affordable prices. You'll often find pork, beef, seafood, even fruits and vegetables slow-cooked in flavorful sauces over charcoal. That's before they're served with sides like fried dumplings, rice, plantains, and sweet potatoes. Don't just focus on the most famous dishes and miss out on a variety of notable local foods. Number 5. The Giant Island. Don't assume that just because Jamaica is an island, it's small. It's not. With an area of 4,411 square miles, it's equivalent in size to the state of Connecticut. It would take some effort to be able to see the entire island during a week-long visit. With six distinct regions to choose from, pick the area that best suits your preferences. If you want non-stop nightlife, don't choose Discovery Bay, choose Negril. If you want the most family-friendly location to take advantage of various attractions, then Discovery Bay would be suitable for that. Jamaica's diversity lies not only in its landscapes but also in its culture, history, and art. From the famous reggae music to the rich cuisine and diverse culture of Spanish, African, and British ethnicities, Jamaica is a very interesting place to explore. With its vast area and richness in culture and scenery, Jamaica offers diverse travel experiences for tourists. Number 4. The fastest people in the world. It would be quite surprising if the list of winners in Olympic running competitions didn't include athletes from Jamaica. Why does this small country in the Caribbean produce so many speed kings and queens? Previously, when it came to sprint competitions, people immediately thought of American athletes because they used to dominate both the World Championships and the Olympics. But about seven years ago, this country of over 300 million people had to step down to second place, conceding the top spot in short races to athletes from Jamaica, a country with only 3 million people. The living conditions and culture of the Jamaican people are factors that contribute to the creation of speed heroes. Usain Bolt, the Black Lightning Bolt, as well as many other Jamaican track and field athletes, come from rural areas where running is a part of life. Being born into a coffee-growing family far from a water source, Bolt had to run to fetch water every day. Campbell Brown, also living in the Trelawney region like Bolt, used to train by running to school. He once said that he had to climb several hills just to get to class. There are many other reasons explaining the success of Jamaican sprinters, as many places in the world have similar conditions but don't produce winged gods offspring. According to the stars, the characteristic of liking to show off is another unique factor that helps Jamaicans often win races. Thanks to this characteristic, Jamaican athletes always strive to improve themselves because, according to Bolt, every time he runs, there's a crowd coming to watch and discuss whether the kid has done better today.
We don't know exactly why, but Jamaica still holds the record in sprinting. The number of times Jamaican sprinters in the 100-meter event have surpassed the 9.85-second mark is the highest in the world, far exceeding the United States 19 times, Canada twice, Nigeria, and Trinidad and Tobago once each. Number 3. Full vaccination is necessary. Getting fully vaccinated before traveling to Jamaica is an important part of protecting your health. Although Jamaica is a beautiful and exciting country to explore, like many other countries around the world, it may also have specific disease outbreaks or sudden outbreaks. Before you go to Jamaica, consult with your doctor or local healthcare facilities to learn about the necessary vaccines. Basic vaccines such as malaria prevention vaccines, hepatitis A and B prevention vaccines, as well as other infectious disease prevention vaccines may be recommended. Additionally, always adhere to disease prevention measures including frequent hand washing, avoiding close contact with sick individuals, and following the guidelines of the local government and the World Health Organization when traveling. This will help reduce the risk of infectious diseases and ensure a safe and enjoyable trip to Jamaica. Number 2. The deadly fruit is the national dish. It's crazy to use poisonous things as food, but in Jamaica, the whole country has actually done this unbelievably by choosing a very toxic fruit called aki as the national dish. Aki belongs to the Sapindasi family, growing in tropical climates in West Africa. It is an evergreen tree, about 10 meters tall, with long, wide leaves, large, fragrant clusters of flowers, and followed the footsteps of West Africans who were sold to the Caribbean, crossing the sea to the strange island of Jamaica. The aki fruit contains two toxins, hypoglycin A and hypoglycin B. Hypoglycin A is found in both the seeds and the flesh of the fruit, while hypoglycin B is found only in the seeds. When molecules of these two toxins enter the human body, they metabolize into methylenocyclopropylastic acid, inhibiting the beta-oxidation process of fatty acids, leading to acute hypoglycemia. The condition of poisoning from eating aki is called Jamaican vomiting sickness. At mild levels, it causes nausea, while at severe levels, it can be fatal. In West Africa, people occasionally get poisoned by eating aki. Residents here mainly harvest aki seeds and shells for soap production, but in Jamaica, it is a traditional food of the country. For Jamaicans, aki is an edible fruit with nothing to fear. From children to the elderly, everyone here knows by heart how to avoid aki poisoning. It's extremely simple, just don't eat unripe cracked fruit. Each aki fruit has from two to four lacerations. When ripe, it naturally splits open the lacerations, revealing black seeds and golden yellow flesh. At the time aki splits, all the hypoglycin A in the flesh automatically gasifies and dissipates. Aki pulp is thick, full of fiber, protein, and vitamin C. It's as rich as butter, as nutritious as fatty meat. Despite centuries of oppression, exploitation, and extreme Caribbean heat, Jamaicans survive on eating aki. Thanks to it, they overcome exhaustion from hunger and extreme weather in the Caribbean. Number 1. Nature is life. In Jamaica, if you litter or dump toxic waste into the environment without waiting for the police to remind you, the locals have already taught you a lesson. There's a joke that even Jamaican criminals will deal with you when you harm nature. It's just a joke, but it shows how much Jamaicans love their nature. Jamaican people often love nature and enjoy living close to it. With diverse landscapes from beaches to mountains and grasslands, Jamaica provides a rich natural environment for people to enjoy and explore. Part of Jamaican culture is respect and reverence for nature. Many people here often engage in outdoor activities such as camping, fishing, mountain climbing, and even participate in environmental protection activities and social actions to protect precious natural areas. Nature is also an integral part of Jamaican music and culture. Many reggae and dancehall songs often praise the grandeur of the natural landscape and convey messages about environmental protection. Therefore, not only is it a place with magnificent scenery, but Jamaica is also a place where the love of nature is stitched and nurtured in the hearts of every citizen. So we have explored 15 prohibitions and peculiarities in Jamaica, a country full of colorful and rich culture and nature. From banning the carrying of valuable items outside the street to interesting aspects of the culture and history of this country, we have witnessed unique regulations and customs that you may not find anywhere else in the world. If you find this video interesting and helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to follow more interesting videos about travel and culture around the world. Thank you for accompanying US and see you in the next videos.